Gordian. Gordian, Gordian, Gordian. What is a Gordian? I still have not figured that out exactly yet. Don't know what Gordian quest is really about. We're just we're just chilling. You know how it is. We're gonna head back to town and sleep because our boys are a little banged up after the last uh, the last fight. Uh, Captain Roger apparently has a reward for us. Cool, cool, cool. Oh. Yeah, we saw the Rift Lord or some nonsense. I don't know, man. I'm not really paying attention to the story since I've already done it once before. Can I... Can I remove curses? Is that a thing? Yeah, sure, let's do this. Boom. Great news. Curses removed. And we are going to get Alphonse on our team for the time being. We got two elite skeletons. Alphonse is here to help as well. Deal five damage, deal plus one for every action played this turn. I wonder if that includes, I assume that's his own actions and not ours, so this is a pretty bad attack. Basically. Uh, we don't really want to move out of this spot, I think. But we'll do this. And we'll shift back. They're actually hitting for 14, I just realized, too. Damn. Hmm. Let's bloodletting first. Move over here. Pitchfork you, and then let's, uh... Oh, we didn't have to use shift. We could have used just, uh... Like, our blocks and stuff. Never mind. Ooh, and this is gonna be a big turn. So let's root in place here. You're dead. Died. You're dying to the freeze. I could have. I could have moved in here and taken the hit with a block. Oh well. Afon's just wasting his time. Apparently, we did full block. Did I enfeeble you somehow or something? What happened there? Oh, also you've eaten my you've eaten my cool uh channel charges. That's fucked up. Yeah, whatever. Pierre is leveled up. Finally, wait a second. Okay, whatever. Alphonse, I imagine has a as a a bleed build or something. I don't, that doesn't seem that good. Maybe not. Yeah, I know he has like a poison build, kind of. Even then, it doesn't look very poison focused. Maybe subterfuge. Yeah, there's poison edge. Okay. Well... We'll make him... Oh, it's starter deck too. We'll make you more dexterity focused, I suppose. Because again, we're still looking for our, our, a dex character for this, basically. Although I think uh, we're going to go with Kudo being a, a dex strength hybrid. But we'll see. Uh, you leveled up. Let's learn a skill. What are the skills you get? Pick a card in target's hand, granting a plus one bonus rank for this battle. It's a channeled spell, but it seems pretty expensive. This doesn't seem worth the cost either. I guess we take the... Or maybe we just take a respect point. Hmm. We can redraw as well. This just doesn't seem very good. Give me the respect point. It's an okay, okay exchange, I'd say. Oh, uh, we do need to go to this shrine for uh, 
the lady. Right now, pre oh, legendary weapon. Okay, we're doing this one. Legendary armor. Oh my god. Yo, this is a, this is a sick shrine. Okay, let's pop it, and let's hunt down that legendary armor and weapon here. Apparently, they're both in this one fight. Okay, well, we do have to fight someone else to get to it. I guess we'll do this one first. Game. And something about loading screens in this in this uh, this version of the game. Maybe it's just me. I don't know, but something's different. I think. So we're gonna probably move Kudo back here behind the lineup because all these are lane attacks right now. Uh. I think follow through does hit behind you as well, so we should kill this man first. Almost certainly. Okay. We're gonna do this, we're gonna shift. We're gonna bloodlet into bloodshot here. Why is it not? Hmm. Whatever, who cares? Did I not apply bleed twice? What's the issue here? I don't know, sometimes this game confuses me. And by sometimes I mean like 80% of the time. <laughs> but whatever. Let's have this guy uh, chill out. Ah ha ha. Get some charges too, I don't see why not. He's doing another lane attack. We'll just chill. Hmm. Move you here because I want to pick up some of this money. Did I like did maybe like the enemy is like immune to bleed or something before on the bloodshot? I don't know. Is that a thing even? We're gonna move back to the middle row here. No, he chooses to stay here and fight. Do this. Move right out of the way again. Udo comes in. Bloodlets himself a little bit. Runs away. Here it comes in with a little icy zip zaps there. Oh, and I'm getting a phone call. Hold on, let me pause the recording for a second. Okay, hello, hi, I'm back. Sorry, work stuff. Nothing, nothing super important. Uh, we should we should let Kudo rack up as much damage here as possible because uh, we need to get SP back on him. So we are going to just end our turn. Kudo comes in. Does a little bloodletting, tiny bit, and then just goes like pitchfork into bloodshot. Perfect. And those who level up, we get uh, shitty armor. Is maybe better on Pierre than his current stuff. I mean, not even really. I guess it's like a heal. Ah, whatever. It's fine. Either way, same thing. Um, and then Kudo, what are you getting on your level up here? 
We're probably just going down and hitting this, this double stat pointer. So let's go here. Let's uh, can't can't upgrade hemorrhage. I guess we upgrade uh, energy from blood. We don't really have anything to use. We don't have any channel stuff to do. But I like I like the crit. Crit crit upgrade seems fine. You will get this, and you will take probably well prepared. That seems fine. For now and here's the big fight legendary weapon legendary armor hopefully hopefully some pretty good goodies here right you were applying nine shock well, so we lunge in here Just slap boys is it's only backline being hit right now. It's bloodlet. Hmm. Doesn't really matter too much. You can move. Don't we have the thing where you can move once for free because of an item you're wearing, Pierre? Hold on. Grant's talent, quick step. Maybe I need the dexterity to be able to use quick step as well because we, our dexterity is too low to have the talent. I don't know. Either way, retreat. I want you out of the way of this spear throw. Cause we can we can just block it actually. Never mind. Fuck that. They yeah, were fine. Oh, the shock does get blocked by guard too. It doesn't have uh, the piercing effect on it or whatever. Okay. Potent. Potent lets you go through guard. Hmm. see let's swipe and bloodshot does just murder you we'll guard as well here and we've got this one pretty much wrapped up here I think This guy's pretty much toast. Lunge him a few times. There you go. Easy peasy. Okay, our legendary weapons. We have Butterfly's Edge. Grants double slash. Double slash applies eight poison. Two melee attack damage plus one dexterity. Uh, seems pretty cool. And then we have Iron Regalia, which is what we were using on Catherine way back when. Um, Seems okay on Kudo right now. Kudo does have the int to use this. And does have uh, some strength-based skills. For now, that's fine. And for now, we'll give you the Butterfly Edge, I'm pretty sure. That seems pretty good as well. Although this may end up going on Kudo at some point. I wouldn't be shocked either. We gave Kudo a little double slashing. Especially considering that it applies eight poison per hit. Again, we may we may end up mixing and matching poison and uh, and bleed here with Kudo. Hard to say exactly. He's a weird weird character. Okay, we got Bertram in the mix here. I think we do this. See where the treasure goblin moves. Pick up his little goldie drops along the way here. I think we hit the goblin now. So the longer it goes, the more money he gives you. Yeah, exactly. And we just go up 
to the jewelry box. Get a, a dumb necklace. Perfect. Hmm. We'll give you a C for the time being. Uh, we probably should head back to town. There's another exploration we can do up here, though. Maybe make a little bit of extra money. Oh my god, look at all this shit. Let's hit that. We get... Nice power room, that's pretty good. Travel here. Slap that gold ring on someone. Hold on before we do it. It was a shitty ring. It's actually a pretty good one for you. Uh, let's give you, you put this here. I should be fine. Go to the merchant. Merchant, what do you got? Another relic token. Sounds pretty solid. Pop off our supplies. We only have two tokens, I think, right? We can't do like a, a random legendary weapon. Yeah. Okay. You could do a no legendary jewelry is also three. Never mind. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go to the garrison. Yes. What are the missions you guys have for us? Captain Roderick. Okay, anything good in the shops here? Hmm. Pretty bad, I think, overall. Maybe, maybe pretty good. This is actually really good for, uh, what's his name here, but I don't think we're going to keep uh, Lucius for, around for too much longer. So, kind of a, kind of a meh. We're pretty full on health. No need to really go healing or anything, I don't think, right now. Let's, let's scrap some of our garbage. Ooh, we might want... Nah, let's get rid of it. Let's not think about it too much. So I think we need a shield for what's-his-name, so we'll get rid of that. Boom. Precognition's a pretty good spell. But it's not a dilly-daddle. Okay. Ooh, we got... Spooky, spooky big skull. I'm sure this will be great. Oh, I remember this one. Yeah, this is the one where we, we or no, this is the one where we choose. Yeah, we choose. Like last time, we picked Captain Roger. Let's pick, let's pick Officer Aaron's move this time. Uh, I don't know what what, what difference this makes. But, um, I don't know. Let's want to try different stuff out. There's a lot of reinforcements, apparently, in this fight, too. What the heck? Okay. Um, well, first things first, quick draw. There's a lot of damage coming our way. Probably want to parry into... Go into a swipe here. Let's take you out first, in theory. But we're gonna bloodlet big time here. You know what I can do also, actually? I can I can shift in here. Because I have the force armor, I'm gonna take so many hits, no problem right now. That seems pretty good to me. Uh, we're gonna definitely go to the... Eh... Uh, You you die. Aaron's taking hits, but he's a he's a freaking G. He's fine. We 
you like a, a skeleton archer looks like here in the back row, which might cause some problems. A lot of these guys resist resistant to physical damage, which is kind of annoying. Let's uh let's lunge up here in front again. Let's start doing some big blocks here, I think. Pretty good turn, pretty good turn. We probably just go spike into bloodshot here. I guess we can do. I don't care about shifting him. Yeah, let's just go spike into bloodshot. Take you out. Get you guys with the arcane hail. Pretty, pretty bad round for, for Pierre, I'll say. We're still, we're still, you know, blocking big, having no real issues here. Twenty-seven, twenty-six damage. Okay. Mm. Yeah, you know, wasting that crit, unfortunately. But like, you know, what are you gonna do? We're still all in all looking pretty solid. Get to just freaking ice nova someone into oblivion right now. Let's charge up our JO crystals here. I wonder if after this horde fight we also get uh the fight the, like the Rift Lord's assistant still. Definitely keen strike. Let's go on guard here. Maybe a little too aggressive. Well, kind of tricky to say, right? We blood surge have a big attack going here. Mm. Pierre can get the kill, I think, back here though, which is really good news. Okay, good. So we're fine. No damage on Lucius here. Got another bony boy in the back. Quick Drew into Quick Drew, that's wild. Aaron can just take these boys no problem, basically. Keep bleeding myself, I suppose. You know what I just realized? Power from blood and energy from blood. I don't think they... They're worded weirdly. Hmm. I think that maybe these specifically only work when you bleed yourself. Like, I think 
correct me if I'm wrong here, but I th I think that maybe the way these cards actually end up working is... I guess we'll find out here, right? Because in theory... We just triggered... We just triggered power from blood, right? So... Or maybe we didn't? I don't know. I think I actually might be crazy. Hold on a second. That didn't trigger it. Does this trigger it? You're dying from poison. It didn't trigger- I don't even know what I'm doing anymore, man. Activate the hailstorm. Party full charge, doesn't matter. I need to figure out when this mofo is, is activating his passive abilities. It seems integral to making his character work. Okay. Let's try to kill the archer here if we can. And we'll kill you no problem as well, I think. Slice him. Dice him. Lunge over here and then I'll draw a card. Okay. So. We have three bleed effects. So if we do this, you die. Nothing happens. If we bloodshot, we should trigger power from blood here, which would give us one fury and eight guard. But that has not triggered. Maybe this has to be on myself. Like, maybe like the wording like activates when you apply bleed. Maybe that means like, because maybe maybe it's like a like a localization issue. Like, maybe that means, like, whenever you apply bleed on yourself. Because there, boom, that triggers it. Yeah, I think it has to be, like, whenever you bleed yourself. Strange wording. If anyone can verify that for me, I would really appreciate it. You're really, really cool. If someone explained to me how that was working, so if I, you know, because I, I think I'm doing it wrong. And it makes all of the quote-unquote, like, self-bleed effects make so much more sense, too. If they only work when you bleed yourself to, with them. Let's kill you. You got, what, 9, 18, you got 26 damage coming in right now? What if I block 27 of it? Boom. What if I also just killed half of you as well? Uh, let's get rid of my bleed. Move in, hit him with the shock and grasp. Yeah, we got the we got a big boy coming in next, it looks like, so we gotta be a little careful. Looking pretty vulnerable, bud. Okay. So here's the thing though. I triggered I triggered the fury thing, but I haven't triggered the crit thing. This should trigger if if this works the way I hope it does, which I don't think it's working that way. Uh this should also give us eight critical hit here. 
It did, I saw, yeah, it gave me, so that, I don't know, man. I don't know how anything works anymore. Whatever, leave me alone. Bring in the boss. Okay, you're literally picking the worst target you possibly could. Okay, well he basically basically already just won the fight. Boom. There you go. That was that. Use the waypoint, head back to the town. We also got a level up, so we should do that too before I forget. There you go, Lucius. Uh, we should probably take Curio atta Attunement here. Um. Although, I don't know. Because we are a channel, man, maybe we do want to go Ardent Mind and Expanded Mind first. I don't know how much we get from... Ah, Max Card Draw is really still solid, too. Here. Do you have a belt yet, by the way? I think he has a belt, probably. And uh, honestly, I'm, I'm, I think we're going to commit to the, the Strength Dex Hybrid here, so let's go, go Dexterity on that one. Okay. Yeah, yada yada. Want me to go out into the wilderness? Thanks for the supplies. Portal scrolls. Well. Roderick is gonna. I don't know. Tell me to find the ley lines or something. Who knows? Um. Oh, we have our next grid. <coughs> oh, sorry, we have our next grid thing here. Hold on. Another tier, tier one talent socket here. Let's figure this out once and for all what we need here first. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Target all allies and self. Purge one and reduce bleed by eight. This just seems like way worse than Blood Surge. Blood Surge seems just way better than this card. Crimson Pulse into it could be pretty good. Draw life because it can trigger these effects is pretty useful, I think. Not a whole lot in that pool, though. And the, and the uncommons for malediction. What do we what do we care about here? Abyssal strike, kind of interesting. It is a melee spell, though, so I don't know about that. Low damage attack, but just puts random bullshit on them as well. This is kind of cool. I like this, right? you know deals burn equal to the bleed so you can kind of like put bleed on them and then you get the, the you know double up on the damage in a way dysplasia convert one bleed on target to six burn chill shock or poison this is like get better oh, there's no ranking it up okay never mind uh forfeiture That's wild. That's so funny. Just say, hey, take take my ally. Also take 100 damage or whatever. Not, uh, not 100, obviously. That is that is interesting. Uh, but terrible. Convert bleed to poison. Apply 15 poison potent. Hmm. 
Hmm. Eternal Pain seems pretty cool as well. Oh, I just realized these, these are these are like a, a combo. Target a minion afflicted with a voodoo curse, killing them instantly. Hmm. Weird. I like Eternal Pain, though. I think I want to go actually the Malediction Tree here for the for the middle. The, the, the middle tier rarity perks. Nope. Let's do... That looks pretty good to me, actually. Yeah, we just go boom. Skill mastery, boom, boom. Yeah. Good. Um... I'm like, we have 36 minutes in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, Aaron, you weirdo. Let's do, like, maybe this one fight, and then we'll call it there. I don't know. We'll see. We get a cave. Let's try that. Hey. Hmm. We just take this and go on down. Get some more incense sticks. Okay. What did you reveal? Hmm. So you just do this, basically. Pop off our HP. Hit the box of runes. Potent modifier. That's interesting. That should be pretty good for us with, uh... What's his name with Kudo? Okay, let's do this. Let's do this fight, and then let's uh, wrap up this episode. Also, we're probably gonna like level up or something afterwards too. So there'll be that as well to keep in mind. Double slash is about to merc someone. You're attacking for 10, you're attacking for 9. Okay, well. I'd like to kill you, maybe. Mm. Do a little mana charge into Nova here. Then something like that, maybe. Kill the minion back there. Okay. Oh, I like how I like I like the reskin of this guy. I like how he's he's stronger because he's got he's got different pants. He's got red pants and a and a gray shirt. Very cool. Okay, we kill you. You know what? What if we just, uh... We'll just move back here, huh? Let's kill you. Pierre, just slowly back away. Oh, hold on. Pierre first, though. Hit him with a shocking touch. Ice shard. And there you go. No targets. Oh, this gets randomly teleported. I'm too far back. We'll just block. It's fine. 
No reason to waste ace, uh, SP here. I think we got this one pretty much handled. Yeah. A little energize. Okay, I've been, been blinked. You're hitting with the impulsive swing again? Why did it do like triple damage last time? Like, whatever. I don't actually care, but kind of weird. No level ups. Honestly, pretty happy. Unless well, there's some boots, I don't know. Okay. That is. Oh, let's do. You know, let's, before we actually wrap it up, let's do the shrine here. Just to give us something to, to be excited about for the next episode. Rare item, rare armor, legendary weapon, increased experience. Oh my god. Those are those are all great. Okay. Got something exciting for the next episode. We're going to get another legendary weapon from that shrine. And, uh, yeah. Oh, it's right here, too. It is right here, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do it next time. Next time, next time, next time. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Gordian, goodbye.